Buyback Brian is back, boys and girls, and here we are for day four of Back to the Dawn. We got a very busy day for a prisoner in front of us. We got to find a way to get ourselves access to the mail room. We got to get our money up and we got to try to stay alive. So as I was saying, we got to get to the mail room. We still got to assault Diego the alpaca. I got to raise my rapport with John, even though John's kind of a dick. Still going to try to get five painkillers, but they're mad expensive. Got to listen to three more inmate conversations, and I can go back here behind the toilet if I would like. My health is very low again. So, uh, yeah, we got to work on that. All right, let's head to head count. See what we got today. Quiet, assholes. It's count time. One, two, three. That's 47 to 47, all inmates present and accounted for. Little question for you. What are the three most important things to remember to remember during your stay with us? One, do as you're told. Two, do as you're told. And three, do as you're damn told. Hope you remember. Now I have something new to announce. Today's announcement. Some asshole reported that we exploit the labor of our inmates. As a result, the oversight committee asked us to raise the rages for prison work. After careful consideration by the warden, inmates will now receive extra pay for working on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That's kind of sick. That is kind of sick. Quit your yapping. Save that energy for work. Dismissed. <clears throat> so if I want to work, it's best to do it on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So today's a Thursday, so I should probably work. But first, I need some food and some health, but I have no money. Can't collect weekly essentials yet. All right, cookie. Buy one, two cookies for now. Get a little bit of food in the gullet. Definitely got to get our health up before we assault Diego the alpaca. First, let's overhear these conversations. Get this done. I'm just going to click through these because it's all nonsensical nonsense. So I had a scare. Over the weekend, I decided to do a fresh Windows install, and um, it's a beautiful thing, you know, getting your gaming PC rid of all the crap and just with the things you need on it, but I didn't back up my save file for this game, and I was like, oh God, having a stroke, you know, thinking I was going to have to somehow fudge it back to day four and keep everything close to the same for you guys. But, as it turns out, shout out to Steam, they cloud sync save games. So, didn't even have to do that. I was having a little bit of a panic attack there, once I realized I forgot to do that. I did everything else, I backed up everything else, just not my save files. <coughs> also again, the apologies. I still have this man cold, it's never gonna go away. Alright, let's deliver this quest. Looks like you've heard a lot of interesting stuff. How can I get into the mailroom? I heard the mailroom is high in a well. Hmm. Used to be that only William, that William was the only inmate working in the mailroom, but now the warden has introduced package services. But he's so slow, he just can't keep up anymore. So the warden approved one more job slot. Only one. That's right. Only one. Mailroom is an important place. We can't let just anyone in there. And you need to show specific work cards to get in and out. Of course, I'm the one who decides who's eligible. Um, could I be eligible? According to the rules, new fish, like you ain't allowed to work in such high security areas. But seeing as how we're partners, who have worked together before, how about this? Earn 50 good conduct credits in two days and I'll give you the job. That shouldn't be too hard for you, should it? Okay, so I have 20. I can read that book. I can watch the TV show. Yeah, let's watch the TV show tonight. Of course. If you could smash their TV instead, that would be even better. Ha ha ha. Don't worry, I'll drag your body out of there. Okay, so I gotta watch TV tonight. Oh, look at the map. It's a nice map. I didn't even know that was there. First floor, second floor on the roof. I won't get lost now. Oh, I should have did that days ago. <clears throat> anyway, it's Thursday. We get extra money for working. So we're gonna do some work. 
I still don't have the health to do the chemistry because it does take away your health. So we're going to do some ironing and of course I'm going to cut it off here so you don't have to listen to me count. All right, we're back. It is lunchtime now and I took full advantage of the bonus money on Thursdays. We racked up almost $400. And we're going to head to lunch. We are dying from hunger. So we're going to eat something, hopefully, that gives us some extra health. Or <clears throat> body, rather. Um, this one. This is the one right here. The $60 meal. And me and Robert are kind of friends, so we're going to sit down next to Robert. We're going to eat our steamed dumpling. Regain some of that body some stamina and I'm gonna see if I can get some extra food from Robert hi your lunch looks pretty good give me the eight that's a seven reroll it that's a seven too never mind so that did not work out can I come get some food from somebody else I can't even sit down next to somebody else unbelievable <clears throat> all right what do you got for me giraffe man is eating steamed dumplings. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you can't even really talk to people in here. We're overhearing a conversation, of course. Don't want. Don't want. Oh, it's Diego. I need to mess you up, Diego. Are there guards in here? Can I hit them up in here? He's got painkillers. There are people around. I can't hit them now. Okay. That's fine. Let's go outside. We'll hit the vending machine. Get some yogurt. A couple cookies. I love that cookies are 10 bucks out here. He's out of stock for today. All right. Get the yogurt to bring the body up. Eat our cookies. Eat our yogurt or drink our yogurt, apparently. <clears throat> All right. What other things should we take care of? Well, you got a question mark now. Gang affairs. Oh. See if we can catch Diego alone today, huh? There he is. He's alone. Let's hit him up. Diego, oh, he's the one that the quest needs me to fix. He's alone right now. It might be a good time to make my move. Let's do it. Hi, Diego. I've been asked to fix the problem with your mouth. Huh? My mouth? I don't know what you mean. You don't need to understand. You just need to know that the treatment might hurt a little. I have lower agility, so I don't get to go first. He's going to hit me with an unarmed attack. I got scissors, though. What else do I got? I got no healing. All right, we're going to have to hit him up. Mm, scissors do not do as much damage as I was hoping. We hit a dodge there, though. That's nice. Weapon is broken. That's not good. Hopefully I got enough of a lead. I don't know how this is going to go. This is going to be close. Hopefully that bleed takes effect. And he doesn't have any heals on him. Soap throw. I don't know what any of that means. Oh, probably means that I dodge. Look behind you. What the? Oh, no. Adrenaline stimulation. Oh, no. Diego's going to mess me up. I got to rest. Oh, I dodged. What a dodge. Good. I hit him. Oof. This bleed needs to come through for me. 
Oh god, this is gonna be close. He's got one HP. I gotta rest. Oh, hit the bleed. Yes! We got him. Did I win? Hey, stay down. Do not get up. Now he knows the price of commenting on another guy's manhood. All the commotion is bound to make the guards come running. I better just get out of here. Oh. I gotta search him. Before the guards come, let's search him for anything of value. Oh, he's got painkillers. Nice. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna escape. I'm just gonna search him. I'm gonna end up going to the hole. Scissors. What else do we got? There's nothing worth taking, of course. Yeah, 13. I got it. That's not a 13. I can't math. How do you get a 13 on a six on six? That's it. That's all she wrote. Going to the hole. <clears throat> hey, stop right there. Did you do this? Now I'm in trouble. Persuade him to let me go. Sir, this is just a misunderstanding. He just slipped this is all. You telling me how to do my job, fish? No, I didn't mean it like that. Then shut your mouth. It's no good. He doesn't have enough rapport with me. Yeah, I did it. So you come quietly? Good. Then it's time for your reward. Inmate 1220, you committed the offense of fighting. According to prison re regulations, the sentence is six hours in seg. Let's go. It's vacation time. All right. Well, we completed the quest at least. And I should still be out in time to watch the movie. Attention, about face. This time you're going to be in seg for six hours. As for the regulations, I don't think I need to repeat them. Sit tight. Don't try any funny business. And I'll come take you home when you're done. Next is the routine frisk. Oh, God. I'm going to fucking lose all my stuff. Hit the 12. Oh, so close. He took my scissors. Unbelievable. What else am I hiding? Please don't take the painkillers. I need them. G give, give it to me, please. Oh, God. My shank and the scissors. What else are you going to take? Give me the 10. Come on, dude. Oh, yes. Okay, I lost all my weapons. But it's fine. I still have my money. Oh, I gotta go to the barber shop though. That means I can't get paid till tomorrow. That stinks. I gotta eat one of these. I have anything to boost my mind? I don't. I'm going to lose my mind in here. Unblock the toilet. Really? I have to poop too. That's not good. I don't have enough stamina. Unbelievable. I can't sleep right now? Why not? Let's brush our teeth with Newton. I got nothing. Got nothing in here. Losing my mind in segregation. Well, now we really got to try to unclog the toilet. I don't think it's going to work out for me, though. Unbelievable. It's going to make me lose my mind even more. And I definitely have to poop. Got to wash our hands with no soap. The stench won't wash off with water alone. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I don't know what to tell you. You got to poop. This is not going to happen, huh? All right. It's time to get out of here. Segregation is up. Move your ass, 1220. Time to go. All right. I need food. I need soap. I need a shower. Hey, it's sag. It drives me insane. Yes, it does. Okay, you're late. Dinner's over. I'm going to starve to death. How about this whispering? I still have some of my personal stash. If you want, I could sell you some. I got to I got to buy them. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Everything costs money. How do I boost my mind? Do I need anything? Yes. I do need things. I need soap. I need pillow and a blanket too, but I don't got that kind of money. So we're just going to go with pillow for now. And does anything boost mind? $200 for a Game Boy, huh? All this shit is mad expensive. <clears throat> All right. Let's go take a shower. Use the soap. Hopefully this helps. 24 stamina. No mind. All right. We got to get in there in time. To watch this TV show. Tonight's movie is Andy's Redemption. 40 bucks. You guys are killing it. Guys, Andy borrowed a rope from me this morning. He was talking kind of strange. I got a bad feeling about this. Unless I'm very much mistaken. Today marks his 10th year inside. I heard the warden denied his parole application again today. Damn it. He wouldn't be thinking of using that rope to strangle that son of a bitch warden, would he? Must be. From my first day in the joint, I knew Andy was someone you don't want to mess with. Hell yeah. Remember how he killed one of the sisters with his bare hands? That was a bloody mess. Andy's friends were wrong. He only borrowed the rope to pretend to hang himself. He'd investigated and knew that the walls in the infirmary are the thinnest in the entire prison. I never saw that ending coming. But what I admire most is how he maintained calm in the face of adversity and hopelessness. Andy's Redemption movie reward? Plus two in performance, maybe later. Got five mind from that though, which is which is essential at this point. He's watching TV. Thank you. I didn't realize. All right, I have quests to turn in. <clears throat> Where's this guy? All right, I watched the movie. So how many went to see the movie? Tell him about the TV room. Hmm, you sure? Only eight? Good, now I know I have nine potential truck makers to keep an eye on. Um, why nine? Because eight plus you makes nine. Ha ha ha, very funny. Tension, what is it? Oh. I can already work in the mail room. Look at this. It means we can do that tomorrow. The application is approved. From now on, you can go work in the mail room. Work card made of cheap plastic. It will get you into the mailroom during working hours. I love that. What other quest you got for me? Read a life of escape in the general building. I guess we'll do this. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's turn in the quest for oh, Diego was a barbershop quest, wasn't it? I have one painkiller. I got to talk to John. Where's John at? Oh, Johan. Where art thou, Johan? We gonna do this real quick, dude. It's almost locked down. Where are you? Usually over here smoking a cigarette. A cigarette. There he is. Big bad John. You think if I give John a painkiller, he'll like me more? He looks like the kind of guy that likes painkillers. Um, huh? Oh my God. William, he's not talking. And this guy talks mad slow. Can I borrow a light? Okay, so he likes matches. Don't bother me. Give a gift. Painkiller. Take it. I don't need this. Really? Did you just... Take my painkiller and get mad at me. Unbelievable. All right. He likes matches. We got to keep that in mind. <clears throat> Let's head to the cell. The 
even the day with $68. I got a pillow for the bed, no blanket yet, so it's still going to be cold, but at least we'll be a little more comfortable. Can I craft a match? No. Need nails for the rock lock pick. Let's see what Sam has to say. Hi, buddy. You want something? Yeah, let's chat. You know what? Nicole and I are going to move away when we get married. I'm thinking Pelicanville or Orberg. I've got friends in both places, but it's mainly to get far away from her mom. I feel that. To be honest, Nicole's mom really doesn't like me. I feel that. Agree with his decision. Yeah, maybe better just avoid the constant struggle of trying to win her approval. Maybe her mom will change her mind about you with time. Right? That's the plan. As I said, my wife's name is Nicole also. And, uh... Her mom loves me, but I don't think she likes me. All right. You know what? Let's hit the bed. It's a very quick day here inside. Back to the dawn. Did a lot of seg time and a lot of work. We will see what day five has to bring us in the mail room next time. Thank you guys so much for the support. Please like and subscribe. And I will talk to you manana.